there are a lot of things that we have to still do. The trial for Brian Koberger, the man accused of murdering four University of Idaho students, might not happen until the summer of 2025. What's up, guys? True Crime King. The king of true crime. The king of debates. The king. Everybody is scared to debate. Uh, everybody I have tried to, or, you know, have debated has lost, right? We, we got JB, uh, Harsh tried, failed miserably. Anyway, we got uh, an update here. Everybody's been talking about it, right? Uh, so now we now the Koberger case might not happen until what 2025, so next year. And keep in mind the uh, the prosecution, right? They, they said they could be ready this summer, okay? That's in a couple months, right? But for some reason, the defense wants to keep pushing this out, right? Um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, if, if I was innocent, right, I would, uh, I would want the trial to happen uh, as soon as possible. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wouldn't want to sit in jail for something I haven't done, right? Uh, you know, if you're an innocent person, you should know that uh, they don't have enough evidence to convict you because you're innocent, right? Uh, that's just my opinion, but, uh, you know, Koberger doesn't want that, right? Let's see what else they got. Here we go. Thank you for joining us here on the News at 10. I'm Shira Matsuzawa. Today, a Latah County judge heard arguments from both sides about scheduling. He also denied two motions from the defense. And our Abby Davis listened to that hearing. Abby, walk us through what happened. Yeah, well, Shira, nothing's been decided yet, but the judge isn't happy about the possibility of pushing the trial out so far. A trial in this case is going to happen. And the question is when. But a hearing Friday for Brian Koberger didn't answer that question. Attorneys went back and forth about when they think the man accused of killing four University of Idaho students should stand trial. The state said it could be ready this summer. The defense called that impossible, partly because if convicted, Koberger could face the death penalty. We don't get the luxury of focusing on our case, uh, the state's investigation, <laughs> our own investigation solely. Koberger's attorneys. Yeah, and again, they're going for the death penalty, okay? So, uh, for you guys out there that uh, keep thinking this guy's innocent, okay, um, that means the police are so convinced that they have enough to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Koberger um, viciously and cowardly snuck into 1122 King Road and stabbed these four innocent people while they were in their beds, surprised them, right? Um, you know, and it's just ridiculous. So they're not looking for anybody else. Again, I'll keep hammering all this home. Uh, the only suspect in this case is Brian Koberger, okay? There's not one shred of any evidence that uh, would suggest anybody else committed this crime, right? Uh, and now Koberger and his attorneys. So Koberger would rather sit in jail for another year, right? Then, then have his uh, trial right now. I, I don't get it, right? Again, if you're innocent, hey, let's go to trial. Uh, you know, uh, they can't have an, they can't have any evidence on me because I'm innocent, right? Come on. It's recommended a summer 2025 trial start date, but said March of 2025 could possibly work. That's best case scenario if we don't run into 
problems and delays. They're also worried about how much evidence they have to go through. I know that the court has heard about 51 terabytes of information that we've received to put. Yeah, okay, they're talking about all this, uh, you know, 51 terabytes and it's going to take forever. Uh, hello? The prosecution, they can, they obviously can go through all this evidence uh, by the, by this summer, right? Uh, but for some reason, it's going to take the defense uh, another year at least. Someone make, make it make sense. Uh, you know, it's not just Ann Taylor. They got a whole team of people working on this, okay? Uh, it's just crazy to me. Don't understand it. Put it in perspective, one terabyte can hold 250,000 pictures. One terabyte, and we have 51 of those. Ms. Taylor. Yeah, so does the prosecution, okay? They have to go through the same evidence. And again, they have, have say they have no problem. They can be ready in a couple months. Uh, what's the, I don't understand what the big discrepancy is here is not understating the amount of work that's involved in this case. Prosecutors urge the judge to keep the victim's families in mind. They have suffered for well over a year now with a lot of uncertainty. Uh, and that's, that's painful. It's an everyday reminder. Yeah. And the victim's families are going to have to wait another year at least for to get justice for, you know, Koberger you know, allegedly uh, killing their their children, right? Then we're going to have to listen for another year of these uh, dumb clown YouTubers uh, just make up, try and make up uh, conspiracy theories just for views and just keep selling their soul for, for views and more subscribers, right? They're just going to uh, keep making up these bizarre claims uh, with no evidence to back any of this up, right? Uh, you know, next they're going to say there was uh, some time machine or, or something, right? Um, you know, uh, what happened to the tunnel behind the, re behind the refrigerator drip drop, right? <laughs> what happened to, to, to someone parachuting onto the third floor, right? drip drop you know um come on man what happened to the the cult that supposedly did this uh before that right uh you just there's just you keep you know one thing after another just to just to keep getting views and just keep milking this case it's just ridiculous and they need some certainty and they need some closure in a timely fashion but we know we also have to make sure, as Your Honor just said a few minutes ago, that we only do this case once. And they prefer to do it in the summer, this year or next. Because right across the street there is Moscow High School. The chair's parking all around the courthouse with everybody else who's going to have an interest in this case and being here. And we've already encountered the conflict between those interests. We can't sustain that for weeks and weeks on end. I'm going to kind of play a little bit. Also during Friday's hearing, the judge denied a motion to dismiss a grand jury indictment against Koberger, as well as a motion to appeal the indictment to the Idaho Supreme Court. The defense said it thinks the trial will take 12 to 15 weeks instead of six. Koberger's attorneys also said they plan on filing a motion to change where the trial happens. But the state said it doesn't think changing locations will help find a fair and impartial jury since... Yeah, the whole nation knows about this case already. I mean, in my opinion, it does. they could go to a whole different state. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Everybody uh, already knows about Brian Koberger in, in, this, in this trial, right? Um, so wherever he goes... Uh, people are going to know about it, okay? That's it's just the fact. Um, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, but, you know, only the people on the jury are going to have access to what 
us, the public, everybody else doesn't know because of the gag order, right? Um, obvi obviously, the police have a lot more evidence that us uh, in the news uh, doesn't know yet, right? Because of the gag order, right? Uh, but, anyway, we're going to have to uh, wait longer, I guess, and just... Uh, Good news for these these YouTubers that uh, keep making this uh, crazy shit up that again with no evidence. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Hit that like subscribe button. And until next time, true crime king. Out.